Hello, my name is Glenn Monroe, and I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And in this video, I want to show you how to calculate time sheets using Excel. So I have a start time of a shift, and I have an end time, and my punch clock, or however I got these numbers in. And now I'm going to figure out how long that shift was. So a couple easy steps here. Plus my end time, minus my start time, and then I can hit enter. And it gives me the how long each shift was, but it gives it to me as a time of day. Well, I don't want this as a time of day, I want this as a number. Now, unfortunately what happens is the 8 hour shift here, 8 a.m., is actually 0.333% of the way through a, a day. So when I take these numbers and I go to change them to general, you can see it's 0.333. So this is the percent of how far into the day I am. So it's basing this on 24 hours. If I want to turn this into actually the hours they worked, I need to take this formula here wrap some brackets around it, or some parentheses around it, and then multiply it by 24, because it's the percent of the day times the number of hours in a day gives me the number of hours that, that each person worked. So very easily I can calculate the number of hours each person worked, and if that's all I need to do, I can simply reduce my decimals, and it takes care of it. So that's a great way of doing that. Now besides that though, you might want, actually as I reduce my decimals here, you'll see it's a 7.7 .7 hour day and an 8.5 and 8.1. Well, I don't want to have somebody working at 8.5 or 8.1, and if I reduce the decimals further, it actually makes it a 9 hour shift when they worked an 8.5. So I don't want that happening. I need these rounded off, but I want them rounded off to the nearest half hour. Well, there's no feature under decimals that can do this, so we're going to use the round function. To do the round function, I'm going to round a number to a certain number of digits. So I'm going to round that number there, comma, to how many digits? No decimal places. And when I round that off, this is where we had the first problem. That becomes 8, 8, 9, and so on. Let me get rid of that extra stuff, and there we go. So it's rounded them all off, and that's okay, but it hasn't taken care of my half hour for me. To take care of my half hour, what I need to do is I need to double it round it, and then have it. So I'm going to take my number here in E3. I'm going to double it, so times 2. And then at the end, I'm going to divide by 2. And what's happening here is, because I'm taking the number, doubling it, so making it twice as large, then rounding it, when I half it, I actually get the length of the shift. So let's take that, and we shoot it down, and now you'll see, when I increase my decimals here, there we go. So I've got a seven and a half hour and an eight and a half hour shift now because it's doubled, 7.73 doubled. Let me not have that first. Or sorry, the 8.51 shift doubled became 17.33. It rounded that off to 17. And now if I divide that by two, I get exactly what I wanted. Oops, I got a times in there. There we go. So divide by two. Multiply by 2, then divide by 2. So if you pay to the nearest quarter hour, all you would do is round it times 4, and then divide by 4, and that takes care of that. Now, if I want this all happening in this one single cell, just take a look at your formula here. I'm rounding the value of cell E3, and then I'm going to multiply it by 2, comma, 0, comma, divide by 2. So now, to do this all in the same function, without having a helper column at the end, all I need to do is at the beginning of my function, I put in round. What am I rounding? That number there multiplied by 2. So whatever the result is of this formula, times 2, comma, zero decimal places, close my bracket, and then I'll divide that all by 2. And now when I take this and shoot it down, and let me just clean that up a bit. Nice and easy, I get exactly what I'm looking for. So that's the way to do it. Couple little steps in there, but I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. Stay pumped, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.